All right, what's going on, everyone? My folder. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're talking about porting songs over to FL Studio from Geo Sessions or anything in general. A mix guide, fully how I port my sessions over to make my session edits or whatever. Right. So here is Pro Tools. Now you could do this in Pro Tools. Um. Because anyway. All right. The first thing I have to do is make this shit easier to look at. So if you hold Alt, and you click on a track, it makes them all the same size. I just drag it up until it's at the very last bus, so the last insert. Turn off the comments. Collapse this window. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and export the song. So if you can't zoom in with R and with T and R, the little A to Z thing right here, just click that. Let's you zoom in. So first thing I'm gonna do is mute the instrumental and mute these backing vocals that are used in the song. All right, now that those are all muted, I can play this. I'm in play. love, I know it, I mean to. Fell in love with you, I mean to. And we already know this song is 146 because of the instrumental name. Right, we're gonna go ahead and double click. And we don't need to export the open verse, so we can export this much. Right, bounce, offline, wav, mp3. Uh, you don't need to do mp3. I mean, you just wanna do wav. Make it offline so it bounces faster. Go over to FL. On some songs, you'll have to combine the LNRs. But for Cerebro here, it's literally just the single instrumental lav. So if we bring this in, set our BPM, zoom in, pull the silence out of the beat right there. So now it's on time. And you can tell by the clap that it's on time. Right? Now our acapella is good. So we're gonna go to balance files, obsess.wav, put this in, and here's our acapella for the song. Put this on like the third or fourth mixer track, track one, insert one, and then I like to auto name. I'll go to my master, and I like to build my master preset at this point. So this is my mastering preset I use. Boom, there you go. So I mastered it. It's just my regular thing. I'll play with the threshold and ceiling if I need to, and then. This is how I run my makeup gains at like 1, 12, 3, auto, 1, 4, 0, 100. In, analog, turn that shit off. Cool, right? After that, turn the instrumental down to like freaking negative 15 dB or some shit. Just so it's quieter than the actual vocals. Turn these vocals down, like fucking 6 dB. Make them look like that. All right, now I can hear it. All right, now what I'm going to do is go back to Pro Tools. I'm gonna zoom in and read these take numbers with the files open. So put this here, do that, go here. And now I'm just gonna control click every take that's used. So 34, 35, 36, 30, wow, he punched in everything in a row. And then we're gonna jump over to 75. So he redid a take. So 56 and 60 and 77. Go back in here. Drag these in, and here's all of our tape.
Make those not crossfade. I'm in for the rap, bro. Damn, girl, I need you. I'm so glad we me. All right. So now we got to do the beat cuts. So going to solo the instrumental and export that one. Cause gotta get all the beat cuts first. Take your stops in it. So I was just going to go ahead and line this up. Where do these go? These should always be perfectly on time. So next, I'm going to highlight all of these at once, track mode, send it all to the inserts, right? I'm going to put auto-tune EFX on it, that's what they were using. So we go here, all right, retune 4, low mail, F minor. All right, low mail, F minor. File, save as, copy it, just hold left click and drag, and it will apply it to those other tracks. Very fast at doing this. All right, chorus, verses, and the reason why we want the verse to be tracked out is so when we do a stem verse, if we need, uh, to have two takes changed, we can do it. Right. So. So early 2018 songs. This we use our verb on this one instead of Valhalla. We go to factory, all plate, vocal plate. Put this around 25. Delay, we put this on 20. No for a one fourth fast phone delay. Like that. Chain all of this to here. And then we're gonna go to like to the song. We're gonna check the mix bus. So it's going to all box. We're gonna scroll down to be find all box, which is gonna be down here. See CLA vocals, which is common. So we're gonna save this shit, right? Click save. Just gonna name it fucking C for cerebral, right? Rec six. Oh shit, I need to do that. Alright, it's cool. It works. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we go. So this this you want to make sure the order is correct as well by the way because the order is very important for this stuff and then finally c4 which is just pop vocal all right it's ironic what makes you feel like you live in kills i'll pour out my soul i'll pour out my I'll pour out my soul again. Let me explain in my de but I need to serene, bro. Damn girl, I need you. Bring me with the henny and the shrooms got me. Tripping. I know that I'm not the same as these dudes. I'm different. So she wanna cry. Everything seems to be a gotta fuck me first, baby. How I'm living Hollywood signs, Hollywood Bring this back. Or the beat redrop for this part of the song. And then we're gonna have to drop like at the very last second. Good old bridge. Like that. I'm in. How does my work? Hold on. I got it. You know what to do? Oh, oh, copy. Is he not in here? Like that. I'm in love. I'm working. Mm. Yeah, I have my issues. Hardcore like an iglo. Drugs, what I've been into. Order to my pro like a me, yo. I'm in love, I know what I'm into. Fell in. Anyways, that's been my whole fucking guide on how to make this shit be fire as fuck. After that, I used to export this shit and give a full.